Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Designer Studio episode here on Brick Mania TV. Today we're taking a look at the Humvee Special Ops, Desi Special Ops Edition <laughs> designed by Dan Siskin. Uh, comes with two figures and then we also have the minifigure of the month which Landon will be in to talk about a little bit later. But let's focus on this Humvee for now because not only do we have some awesome printing that I haven't seen before but how many brick arms are on this thing? Five? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so everybody, everybody but the driver gets gets their own weapon station. Yeah. This is all real. So if you go to the AM General and, and you can you can search for the special ops spec ops Humvee, mm -hmm. there's a brochure you can download from the <laughs> AM General website. So we, I, you know, I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to deck it out like they have. The, there's an action shot in the brochure. Right. Once that. once you see it, you'll understand why Dan saw it and went, "Yeah, I'm going to build that." Yeah. So there's <laughs> at every at every station, you know, it's a, it's a four passenger vehicle. The driver does not get one. Mm -hmm. Plus, you have the turret on top, and then they have this sort of open back here. This is like it's like a pickup style, um, the way that they have it configured. And this, I should add, this is this is pretty much a it's an up armored, uh, heavy duty Humvee, and it's kind of a modular construction so you, sure. can, you can buy all these accessories from AM General so if you're equipping your spec ops team um, you know you could actually equip it to the mission you're on and how many guys you need to have in it blah 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 so highly modular for whatever right. purpose you need and I, I was looking at all the accessories and I decided hey we're gonna include all the gun mounts because these gun mounts they just fit on each door mm -hmm. one in the back here they have a they have a, a cargo box that you could have and then there's also another version that has uh, it's like jerry cans in the back. Sure. They have all these other things. There's a rack with jerry cans. I figured I'd go with the cargo boxes. It would be nice to include that brick arms. Cargo. Yeah, and the tan matches perfectly. It looks great. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and it's cool. You can you can store all your excess excess gear in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, you can take it off and fill it up with, with uh, fuel cans and stuff too. So, uh, printing. You do as you mentioned. You do yeah. nice printing. We did print this this sort of cover for the grill on here, or the radiators under there. Um, and then we have the running boards that have this sort of expanded metal uh, look to them. Um, one thing I did do that I've never done in the previous uh, Humvees is I actually put the radiator under the. Oh, motor. cool! So they do have the the Humvee is a has a central mounted motor. The motor is right. in between the, the the crew inside, um, so they can keep that wide stance. And mm -hmm. uh, they have the radiator mounted up front. So I decided to actually put it in there since it does open up. Um, there are, of course, as you mentioned, all the brick arms. It comes with four brick arms, M240B. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the rifle version the of the M240 stock, yep. machine gun. And of course, it's Mod Deuce on top, the M M2HB. Uh, and we brought back the I brought back the Starlight scope. <laughs> so cool. We used to have that. Nice it, used, it used to be a standalone kit a long time ago, and we discontinued. It was like, hey, it was it was just sitting around in the office. I'm gonna stick that on the. It looks great. The Humvee. So it's in there. The hatch does close. I um, should also should point out, you know, see the turret does everything it should. The mm -hmm. guy, there's a little platform for the guy to sit in there, or stand in there actually. And if you take the top off, take the turret off, you do have super easy access to the interior, so you can put your four guys in there. Um, while the figures for this do not come with the brick arms vests, it will actually those figures will fit in here. Oh, so cool! So it's, it's designed specifically to be to function with the brick arms. Uh, plate carriers, things yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. So, because so, it does make your figure a lot bulkier, but the Humvee, uh, a few years ago, um, I redesigned my model of it to accommodate the all those uh, brick arms plate carriers. Sure. Well, that's really, really cool. So not only can you fit your crew of, of printed figures in there, but if you want to load them up and, and really add that bulk, you can you can. Yeah, no, no problem whatsoever. It's, it's hmm. perfectly designed for that. So if you want to use some of your old previous Previous figures that maybe aren't printed all over, you can you can do, mm. or else maybe some of those uh, tactical vests that we actually printed up. So. Well, and we were talking beforehand too, um, so that printing on the on the windshield is oh, brand new as right, well, right? right yeah, yeah, straight down the middle there. Right, I've totally forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> it is it is it is kind of a, a, a new uh, innovation. Mm -hmm. um, years ago, I, when I rotated the windows from sideways to up upright for strength. Um, we lost that seam down the middle, right? And which is kind of iconic, right? It is. It is, it is part of the trademark uh, signature of the, the Humvee brand, um, and I, I have it back, and they were able to print on there. So we have some new printers, and we were able to use the technology that we have to the fullest, and we're we're gonna we're gonna keep continuing to push the limits on, on printing, as you'll we'll see with the stuff that, that Lando has done with the figures too. Yeah, which is really, really awesome. Okay, cool. So, is that everything you want to cover for this bad boy? I then? think so. I mean, can, you can spare take the tire in the back. Yeah, there yeah, is a spare tire. If you wanted to, you could pull off the the box on the back. Um, it, it is. If you have one of the other Humvees, you'll know how to make the the, bumper. the, the tailgate that goes on the back there. Um, of course, you can take off. You can take this platform off and just and run it without the the crate on it as well. Sure. You have your guy standing on the on the back bumper and. You're ready going, for going whatever. Going into battle with all guns blazing. And I should point out that these doors do open. Uh, of 
course, <laughs> you don't have to go through the roof. <laughs> right, right. The, the doors do open, which of course they should on every every vehicle. Mm -hmm. so. All right, so now let's kick it over to Landon because this kit comes with two awesome figures. Then we also have a minifigure of the month that goes with it. So we'll turn it over to him. Cool. Um, been very excited to make this. This is the debut of Brickmania's uh, interpretation, I guess, of AOR1 camouflage. Oh, cool. So that's a camouflage pattern used extensively by Navy SEALs in kind of an arid environment. Uh, pixelated digital camo, very similar to Marpat, but this is kind of the Navy's take on it. Um, so we have three figures, so two in the kit, and then the standalone minifigure of the month. Um, they're all wearing similar gear, um, and they're sort of configurations of camouflage patterns. So you would see them wearing um, this AOR1 camo along with um, Marpat camo as well, because Marpat's pretty easy to get a hold of. It, it's you know civilian purchase, um, so you'd see them kind of mis mixing and matching gear. AOR1 wasn't, or isn't, wasn't as easy to get a hold of for some of the gear, so you'd see them kind of just whatever they can get their hands on, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Um, on this guy, we have the custom printed, 3D printed um, fast helmet, which is really awesome uh, with this um, simulated spray paint. It's like laundry bag camouflage. They put yeah. their laundry bag on top and spray paint to get that sort of snake skin look. Um, you'll see that on, on the weapons as well, on the uh, Perfect Caliber SOP mod over here. I have a similar effect going on. Anyways, back to this guy. Uh, we have this helmet harness going all the way around the head um, just for that extra level of detail. Um, that harness in the back, there's kind of this floating plate that there's a crank on the back that you can actually like cinch this helmet down onto your head pretty well. So these are like originally like rock climbing helmets. So these, sure. these aren't going anywhere. That's kind of where the design was based off of. The head looks really cool though. I mean, obviously the helmet complements it, but just that, that printing on there is, is, is really sharp. Yeah, yeah. So uh, ballistic goggles uh, and then you have a little bit of a microphone thing going on. Uh, that would that just sort of interfaces with this helmet perfectly. Sure. So, um, uniform-wise, plate carrier, and we got those combat pants along with the um, personal retention lanyard. Uh, brand new art artwork for that. Um, that's just so they can kind of clip onto a vehicle and hang out the door, or if they're in uh, something that's in the air, they don't fall out. You know. Oh, sure. So a little lanyard that you can. It's got a quick release on it, so yep. you can click on, and quick release off. Uh, they both have. They all have that. Um, this guy, we got a grizzly beard going on there. Uh, baseball cap. Sometimes you just see them wearing baseball caps there out in the field. They can um, wear what they want. They, yeah, they, especially it seems Navy SEALs. They really uh, have some uh, interpretation, interesting interpretations of uniform uniforms, or so they can do whatever they want. It sort of seems like I've seen guys wearing Crocs. <laughs> I love Crocs. <laughs> I'm gonna quote you on that. You can. Official sponsor of Crocs, Dylan, Dylan Zek. Very cool. Um, what else is on this guy? Uh, this guy has a combat knife and a sort of a push to talk system um, next to that as well. And yeah, it's um, these guys are you know obviously a cool team. Um, they would look really great together. So pick up um, this kit if you can. Are they in stock right now? No, not in stock right now. But we'll have them back. They'll be we'll returned back. Uh, for sure, pick up this minifigure of the month, uh, and yeah, that's the figures that go with this kit. Very, very cool. So that is the designer studio for the Humvee Special Ops Edition. Make sure to check that out on BrickMania.com. We'll have them in stock regularly. Thanks for watching.